Alright, now let's turn our attention to the other step in our algorithm, which is determining what do we need to delete. So we've already looked at the deletion step, and we've optimized it, and now we have it as optimally as possible. And now what we want to look at is the other step and optimize it as well. So the other step was determining what exactly do we need to delete. And that was the first step that we need to perform. So how does it work? Well, the most obvious approach, of course, involves looking at the characters in the string array and comparing every single character to the characters within the filter array. So you would look at that character, try to find a match for it within the filter array. So you would compare it to every single character in the filter until you find a match. If you cannot find a match, then this character is not to be deleted and you move on to the next one. But if you find a match, then therefore you delete it. Now, this lookup, if you will, or search, how efficient is it? In the worst case scenario, you would be comparing your character to every single character in the filter and not finding a match for it, so it's not to be deleted. And if the filter has m characters, then this would be a big O of m step in the worst case scenario. And we want to optimize that because big O of m, this is big O of m for every single character in string, and we have n, n characters here. So it could pretty much add up. So big O of n m, that's the, the overall efficiency of that algorithm. So let's optimize it. How do we optimize it? Well, the key is in looking at here. We are talking about a lookup, a search. And we've already seen how to optimize search. We optimize search by storing the data that we want to search over in a data structure, a special data structure. Either a binary search tree, which will allow us to perform a lookup in big O of log n, or m in this case, or an array, and if we are performing a lookup over the indexes of that array, then it would be a big O of 1, or a hash. And if you're performing a lookup over the keys of that hash, then it would also be a big O of 1. In this case, what I'm going to use is an array to optimize my search. And I'm going to also assume that the characters that could appear in the filter string or the string itself are restricted to the characters in the ASCII character set. And these characters are basically 128 characters. So what I'm going to do is, essentially, I'm going to set up my search data structure, which will be an array. And it will contain 128 cells, each cell corresponding to one of those possible characters in the ASCII character set. So they would go from 1, 0 to 127. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them all to false. So I'm going to assume that they are not to be found in filter. And for every single character in filter, I will perform a lookup on that data structure that I'm building, and I will set its corresponding cell to true. And this way, this data structure will contain the information in that filter, because all the characters in filter will have their corresponding characters here, or their corresponding cells set to true, and I could just perform a big O of 1 lookup on the indexes, which will correspond to characters in the ASCII character set, and I could immediately find whether it's in the filter or not. I could immediately get the response, either it's true or false. So take them some time to think about it. The key is, is in right here, actually. It's in having the characters correspond to the indexes of the array. So this is the algorithm in the end. The algorithm will, will be as follows. The first thing we do is we set up the search structure that I talked about right here, so that we could optimize our search. And I initialize the array to all false, so it will be Boolean characters or bo Boolean uh, values inside each of these cells. And then for every single character in the filter, I will set its corresponding character using a big O of 1 operation to find it. Its corresponding cell, I will set it to true. And then the second step will be to perform deletions via search. So for every single character in string, I will perform a, a search, a lookup, over that data structure that I built, and that lookup will be big O of 1, because I've optimized it. I just need to take the character and look at its corresponding cell immediately, and get whether it's true or false. If it's true, then I know I need to delete it, because it's in filter. If it's false, I don't need to delete it. So this will be the second part. How efficient is this algorithm? Well, setting up the array, initializing to all false, is a constant step. Uh, it's, it's a long constant step, but it's just a constant step. Um, because it's independent of the number of characters we have in string or filter. And then setting the filter characters is basically m steps, because you have m characters. And then performing these searches is big O of 1, but we have n characters, so big O of n, and this is the ultimate efficiency, m plus n.